Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Demi Moore has never been better than in her new film, The Substance. It's in theaters and not to be missed on that big screen theatrical experience. I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Demi Moore stars as fading Hollywood starlet Elizabeth Sparkle. She has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but now it's cracked, stepped on, and walked over as if no one remembers her. She has a hit series of workout videos, but even that has taken a toll on her ego. She's basically told by studio executive Harvey, played by Dennis Quaid, that she's now washed up at the age of 50. She's at a breaking point when a young doctor hints that there may be a solution for her. There's this concoction, an anecdote, called The Substance. It comes delivered at a secret location with very specific instructions. Elizabeth takes it in a desperate attempt to look young again. What happens next is one of great horror. When she collapses, her body cracks open, and a younger version of herself steps out. She is now played by Margaret Qualley, who takes on the name Sue. The Substance could be described as a new body horror experience, and certainly one that I've never seen with this angle before. It's written and directed by up-and-coming auteur Coralie Fargett, and she has a very distinct and daring point of view that she really challenges both her audience and her actors just every step of the way. She, along with her production team and cinematographer Benjamin Kraken, have really made this a very sensual movie as they're just engaging in all of our senses to just amp up the heightened reality of what's at stake. Kraken uses some extreme close-ups from the supposed imperfections of Elizabeth's body to food and other beauty standards that she seems tormented by. The sound design is deliberately amplified as if it's all coming to Elizabeth and Sue far too quickly. Demi Moore is compelling from the very beginning. The first half of the film really relies on her to just carry this with very little dialogue around her. She lays it all out there, really strong of vulnerability to just showcase the depths of what Elizabeth is going through. You're reminded of the power and the screen presence that Demi Moore has as an actress. Margaret Qualley is quite stunning as Elizabeth's counterpart, Sue. Qualley carries herself like Barbie's best friend, Skipper, ready to be noticed and to be the rising star that she knows that she is. Both actresses did a really admirable job at crafting two sides of the same character. Both Moore and Qualley deserve to be a part of the award season conversation this year. Dennis Quaid is perfectly and just purposefully cartoony and gross as Harvey. It's not lost on me that he's probably named after Harvey Weinstein. The Substance is not an easy watch. It really reminded me of watching Darren Aronofsky's Requiem for a Dream or Black Swan, where they're visually stunning yet disturbing films. Writer-director Coralie Fargett dares to go there with her film. I didn't see what was coming ahead, but it certainly had the audience on the edge of their seat. Some in shock and awe, some laughing at just the uncomfortable nature of what she threw at us. Now, it's hard to accurately convey the full picture of what to expect with the substance, as it will be a really unique and singular experience for each moviegoer. It speaks on the desperate measures that some people take to feel and look younger, as if that magically makes life better. I'm giving the substance four and a half out of five ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have some other movie reviews, some celebrity interviews, and I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment here on social media at Paul's Movie Trip. Are you excited about the substance? Let me know in the comments, and then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of The Substance. This is Paul's trip to the movies.